All right, so in this short video, what we're gonna talk about is going to be a pneumatic cylinder and controlled from some simple logic being that it is just a simple circuit that will be controlling it back and forth. Now, currently what I do is I have uh, two proc switches. So there's a proc switch for, uh, is called AO and then, uh, then A1. All right, so the, the A0 is in the very back of this, the cylinder and the A1 is in the front of the cylinder. So therefore, it will actually operate itself. Now this is a pneumatic system. I can cut the air off manually down here. Uh, this is a manual cutoff for the air. I can hold that and have the air completely cut off to the system. Else, I can go ahead and have everything vent back out. Now also too, I can control the pressure from the uh, just down here uh, I can control how fast it is uh, basically uh, you know by opening that uh, properties up to that and then basically controlling the air pressure so this down here is the air pressure in and this is the air pressure out of the safety uh, this is the again the, the manual safety switch right now this is the airflow you can see currently this is uh, that's the airflow going in and then you can see the bar up here for each one now, if I press this, the uh, PB1, you can see if I hold PB1 down, that it will sit there and go back and forth, back and forth. Now, how is it doing that? Now, again, when it comes down to it, I have, I'm energizing either A1 or A plus or either A negative. And when I'm energizing A negative or A plus, that's one side of the, the actual uh, solenoid we have up here and then the other side of the solenoid we have up there so just keep in mind that is how that functionality is working now again once a zero is made you can see down here then what happens is if the push button is made down here then the a zero comes in it lat it turns on the coil and then that coil comes down and turns on uh, the coil for a plus now again, contrary to that, instead of using a coil to power up A negative, what we do is we say if A1, which is the proc switch over on the very back side, or the, the fully extended side, I should say, when that makes, then what it does is it powers up the coil for A negative. Now what that does is it's just one side of the actual uh, coil or the other. And again, that just goes to show you, and now if I don't push, if I release the button, and I don't push anything, it won't do anything, right? So if I push the button once and I, it strokes out, then it will go ahead and do one cycle and then come back, right? So if I, if I do not do not hold the button down, then it will only do one cycle. Now if I just, again, I'll show that one more time just so you kind of see it and kind of understand how that flow works. But again, this is a simple pneumatic controls for a cylinder again the cylinder being the example up top and if I hold the button down then it will continuously go back and forth based upon the prox switches and the prox switches controlling the coil on and off for each of the actual solenoid valves right so just keep in mind this is a dual acting solenoid valve and it has a coil on each side uh, I can also again cut the air manually off and it will not do anything. So if I cut the air manually off, no matter what the electrical controls do, there is no air present for this, the actual system to work. So therefore nothing will happen. Now if I turn the air back on, again then it will pick back up and assume where it was inside of the control scheme of what we did. Now this is a 24 volt circuit going through a push button station and then working off a proc switch, again controlling a coil. Once the coil is on, again it, it turns on the other coil and or the energizes the solenoid I should say and then then the other one uh, as soon as the other prox is get uh, gets made which is a one then it will turn on the solenoid for the uh, other side so that's basically how we have this simple control scheme going back and forth and I just wanted to show you this in a quick video just again to show you simple circuitry working with a very simple air pneumatic system that controls a cylinder back and forth so just another way to show simple controls for those that are looking for simple examples on how to wire something up 
or therefore um, at controlling something as simple as a solenoid valve on and off using a solenoid valve um, you know for a cylinder or something of that, of that nature again again this is a simple electronic circuit controlling a simple air cylinder so with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video again when it comes down to it um, we are trying to show simple examples to get the fundamentals down before we actually get back into further education with PLC controls and stuff of that nature so hopefully that helps and we'll see you guys on the next one